Thank you, Jeff. So as, as Jeff said, my name is Steve Messler, and the beautiful woman standing to my right is, is my sister, <laughs> Doctor of Education Lee Parisi. And together we've founded an organization called Classroom Champions. Classroom Champions connects currently competing Olympians and Paralympians and Olympic hopefuls with students in high-need schools around the U.S. as well as around the world. We leverage technology and communications technology to connect those athletes with our kids and give our, our athletes a platform to create video messages that they put out every month on different subjects. And at the same time, we connect them with a portal for the students to be able to send messages to the athletes and show them what they've learned. So I'm gonna spend the next 10 minutes or so, or Lee and I are gonna spend the next 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna talk about what's happening in the program and what our vision for it is, and Lee is gonna talk about what's actually happening in the classroom. So when I was an athlete, you know, I would go into a school, and you've probably all seen this before, I'd go into a school, I'd give a talk, and I'd leave, and I'd never see the kids again. And it was something that, you know, I'd leave, and I'd think, you know, if one or two of these kids listened, then it was worth my time. It was worth me going there. And Lee and I had talked, it was heading to my third Olympics, it was going to be my last season, and we decided that just wasn't good enough anymore. So we wanted to do something with it that would be impactful, and the, the seeds of Classroom Champions had started. So for us, one of the most incredible things about Classroom Champions is that it helps get both students and their teachers really excited about school. Lois Kivelson, a fifth grade teacher from right here in Queens, told us, it gives us a shared experience that's very powerful. She said, I knew my students would be excited about Classroom Champions, but what I didn't realize was how invested we'd all be. Students really love having the opportunities to engage with technology in their classroom. They come to school really excited to see their athletes' videos and excited to make their own videos. They're excited to read their athletes' tweets and to have live video chats with their athletes and with other classrooms. After Natalie Bergener modeled how she sets goals in her October goal-setting video, students in Texas and New York and Florida created their own goal-setting plans, and then they produced videos because they wanted to be able to share those goals with Natalie and with other students in the class in Classroom Champions. When Olympians Gideon Massey and David Oliver sent videos in from the Great Wall of China and from London, students begged their teachers to let them get onto the computers so they could research those places on the internet. And it's as those athletes travel the world is what makes this program so unique. We've got 33 classrooms across the U.S. and we focus generally on kindergarten through eighth grade, but we're piloting this year, we're piloting a high school for the first, high school students for the first time. And I don't have to tell anybody in this room, you all get it, that the need to be in the classroom to teach is changing every day. I mean, these athletes are traveling the world, sending in lessons, and they're part of the teaching team with their teachers. I mean, they are, the, they're, they're, they're working together as they move through the year. And what happens is each athlete adopts three to five classrooms within the program, and they talk to those kids the whole year long and send the same message to them. And as I, as I mentioned earlier, when, when, I was, when we were 10 years old, we were, you know, we were these little track kids, and I was living this life that we thought would, was just amazing. And ever since then, when we, when we build this program, we think about, would we think it would be cool when we were 10? And you know what? Messages being sent from Olympians as they're in China and as they're in London pretty much, pretty much fits the bill, I'd say. I think so. <laughs> our athletes su cover subjects that they're the best in the world at. I mean, they are our Olympian experts, and they're passing on their knowledge to the students all over the country and all over the world. They're talking about things like goal setting, community service, inspiration, leadership, steps to success, fair play, nutrition, all these things that the Olympians are as good as they get at. And every month we do it in a sequential pattern, so every month the athletes are talking about the same thing, so all the kids and teachers in the program can collaborate and talk about what's happening at the same time, and it's done in a very, very systematic way. You know, it's something that, when we were, again, when we were kids, we would have been amazed at it, the fact that now, on top of the video messages, we have live chats that are held between the, the classrooms and the athletes. The kids hop online and they ask questions. They ask questions like, what's your favorite color? What's your dog's name? And even into more impactful things like, you know, how does it feel to accomplish a goal? So going into the program, we had really big ideas for how Classroom Champions would impact students. And we did a lot of planning and thinking about how to get students to engage with technology and learn about things like goal setting and fair play. But for me, as a former teacher, one of the best things about this year was seeing the impact that Classroom Champions had on teachers. Teachers from all different backgrounds and all different experience levels told us that being in this program helped make them better teachers. Many of them worked to incorporate technology into their teaching for the first time in their careers. 
And others told us that classroom champions help them teach kids about the kind of subjects that they always want to cover, but the kinds of things that certainly don't come up when they're doing some test prep with their kids. And having an opportunity to engage with these athletes and hear about their successes and their failures and their perseverance led to really meaningful classroom conversations and taught students about empathy and really challenged their understanding of ability and disability. Heather Lee Chambers, one of our kindergarten teachers in Portland, Oregon, whose class was adopted by one of our Paralympians this year, told us this story. Um, she took her students on a field trip to the zoo this past spring. And one of her students, while they were at the zoo, came up to her and said, Teacher, do you remember that Olympics thing we watched? That girl who just walked by was missing a hand. I wonder what sport she plays. And it's hearing things like this that make us really excited about the program's ability to change students' expectations, both for themselves and others, for the better. I love that story. When that email came in, we both just laughed. And, and from the athlete's perspective, it's something that we are really use. We're able to use technology to increase the efficiency of our messaging. I mean, think about an athlete that trains at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. For him to have the ability to give a talk in, say, Lois Kivelson's class here in Queens, it's expensive. It's a lot of time on a plane. It's time missed training. It's something that he can't do every time. With the Classroom Champions model, he can give 10 talks in, you know, in a span of it's going to take him about two hours to do, and he can do it from anywhere in the world. Plus, at the same time, he's going to get to see the results that's happening because the kids are sending things back. It's not giving a talk and leaving and never seeing these kids again. We're also measuring at the same time, besides the kids sending messages back to the athletes, we're actually measuring what's happening in the classrooms at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. We're looking at things like their ability to set goals, self-efficacy, and digital literacy so that we, we know the effects that we're having. Now, to me, the most amazing thing about this is the ability now to have everything be open source. On our website, everything, all the athletes' lessons go up on our public spaces, our website and YouTube. We promote them on Facebook and Twitter. And yes, all the, the message that the athletes make, they go to the classrooms that are part of the program first, and a couple days later, then they go public. And it allows teachers that aren't in the program to use these lessons in their classrooms. And our, the new iteration of our website coming out this September, we're actually going to be hosting everything on our, on our site ourselves, so the teachers out there aren't going to run into the whole YouTube and firewall problem, which is what we had last year. So now, a teacher is going to have the ability to hop online, pick any video they want from any of our subjects, download a Classroom Champions teacher lesson plan that's been put up on the site, and run a Classroom Champions lesson in the classrooms. So these kinds of things that we've talked about, they aren't only helping kids be engaged in school because they get to do fun activities or they get to use technology in their classrooms, but it's also teaching them that they have a voice and that what they have to say matters. Our teachers have told us that because of their Classroom Champions activities, they saw so many students step up and take on a leadership role in the classroom. And they also had students who hardly ever spoke in class express themselves in ways that they never expected. It, it really changed the culture of a lot of these classrooms. After watching Sue Bird recover from a really serious hip injury back in last November, her students will get to see her hard work pay off as she tips off with her USA basketball team against Turkey in about 30 minutes. So when those students ran into problems that were hard to tackle during the year, they said to each other, how would Sue handle this? What would Sue do here to get through this problem? So back in January, uh, Madison Square Garden donated tickets for Lois Kivelson's class from Queens to come to Madison Square Garden and watch their hero, their mentor, David Oliver compete in a US Open track meet. And when we saw the anticipation on kids' faces as they arrived at the track meet, and their unbelievable excitement about being able to meet their hero, actually being able to see David, I mean, you've never before seen a class of fifth graders from Queens actually recognize a track athlete and then get so excited about seeing him that it's like they saw Eli Manning walking down Broadway. And, you know, when this happened, Steve and I looked at each other and just sort of exchanged this silent, this silent nod and look, and we realized that we had fostered a real authentic connection simply using video messages and social media to provide a consistent role model for these students. And it's that consistent role modeling that is the cornerstone of the program. And that's the thing that gets us so excited. We're able to provide technology to schools that maybe wouldn't have had that technology. And we're able to use the Olympians' experience and put it out there in a way that we've never been able to do before. 
And with the technology that we have now, it's something that we're so proud of and we're so excited. And we encourage all the teachers in this room and all the teachers out there in TV land and internet land <laughs> to head to classroomchampions.org this fall and bring the athletes into the classroom. These kids are just coming off the Olympic Games and watching. And they're ripe for it. They want to know how do they get there. And that's what these athletes are doing. They're teaching kids how they got there sequentially and step by step. So thank you so much for your time, and thank you, Jeff, for putting this conference on. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.